Hey everyone, so in uh, these upcoming series, I want to make a quick introduction that we're going to be building an online shop on, dot, on the .NET Core stack uh, using .NET Core 2.0, same as we did for the blog. Now, in these series, since these are going to be more intermediate ones in the online blog, we didn't use any JavaScript whatsoever to build the blog. In these series, I want to introduce you to the JavaScript world as it is now, and I think you, learning vanilla JavaScript is pretty much useless. So we're going to be learning Vue.js but not as a spa, very light introduction. You will see it'll be pretty good. And we'll use a CSS from, for, framework called Boma. If you heard of it, you're a cool guy. If not, you better get excited. And remember, the primary reason you should actually be watching this tutorial is because by the end of it, you're gonna come out with a finished product. This finished product, you will be able to take it and adapt it to your freelancing uh, style or maybe show it at an employer that you can actually do stuff. And this is, uh, very different to the, your usual tutorials on YouTube where it's just a short tutorial and you skim over a technology and you don't really end up learning that much. And the real aim of this is to prevent people from being stuck in this uh, YouTube uh, tutorial hell where you just end up watching tutorial after tutorial, tutorial and uh, never really getting any, anywhere. So what kind of topics are we going to cover with .NET Core in, in these tutorials? Uh, First of all, we'll go through the application layer of the shop. So we'll learn how to create product, product models, stocks, orders, and how it all plays together. Uh, and then we'll use NT Framework 4, pretty much pretty standard for the database, how we develop the relationships between product, stock, and yeah, how to store it in the database. Uh, third thing we're gonna look at is authentication. Uh, we're still going to be using identity, um, but instead of using role-based authentication, we're going to be using claim-based. I'm going to be doing a bit of a comparison and explaining the differences between them. We're still going to be setting up an admin user for the control panel, etc. But we're also going to have users. Users are going to have their own accounts, which they will be able to use to basically re-enter without having to re-enter their information. We're also going to be looking at session at cache to store cart history. In the last tutorial, we used the cache to sort of uh, serve images, but in this tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how to store cart history for each individual user. You'll see how that plays out in the end. So for the con admin control panel, this is primarily where we're gonna be basically creating and managing uh, products, uh, managing stocks and managing orders. This is where, when the orders are placed. This is where they're going to be coming in and only the admin will see it. Now, and this is primarily the place where we're going to be utilizing Vue.js and Bulma. We're not going to be taking Vue.js to the front end and we'll, we'll still use Bulma there, but Vue.js will be primarily for the admin and control panel. And I'll explain why when we get into that. Next thing is shop, like displaying uh, product, uh, be able to filter it by category, type, uh, we're not going to go too fancy, it's just creating the functionality. Um, I'll try to style it a little bit, but again, I'm trying to make a .NET Core tutorial, not CSS tutorial. This is why we'll be using a framework. Uh, we'll be implementing a cart, so for that we'll be looking into .NET Core components, which are pretty cool. And then we'll just be implementing checkout, this is where the session is going to come in, and payments, for which we're going to use Stripe.js. If you haven't used it before, it's pretty cool, but this is the way you basically take payments and they take care of all of the functionality for you. Thanks for watching the introduction, guys. If you have any questions, always leave them in the comments. I'm gonna try to answer them, as many of them as possible. And always read the description of any video. I always leave extra information that you can sort of follow around and basically learn more beyond what I'm explaining in the video. If you like the content, leave a like, subscribe, you know, guys, it's going to help out my channel immensely. And if you wish to, you can donate to me on Patreon. It will motivate me, but regardless if I get paid or not, I will be, I'll keep making these videos. Yeah, let's get started.